Welcome back to The Price of Business. I am your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. Going to chat a little bit with uh, Sibin Kramer, um, my producer extraordinaire. Going to talk a little bit about my favorite news site, which is usdailyreview.com. I, of course, would be. Excellent. Yeah, excellent. And uh, I love this feature uh, that uh, Kelly Lewing, one of my... um, uh, editors over there has uh, has uh, taken over. I, d- I started it, but she took it over, and it's called USDR Newsstand. And what it is is uh, our favorite writings that are, are there on uh, key issues. And, and today's newsstand, the most recent one, uh, if you check it out at usdailyreview.com, is actually under almost every section because there's stories there from almost every major category. Includes uh, a great a great segment section there on the shrinks who only see CIA officers. Oh, cool. Can you imagine? Wow. Yeah, I can't imagine. Uh, Did you remember uh, the George Clooney movie, The Men Who Stare at Goats? I never saw it, but I heard it was funny. Yeah, and and it just, you know, kind of makes me think that there's a whole lot of crazy going on in the uh, government, especially in the kind of the black ops and the, the secretive, organizations of the military or you know like uh, like the CIA very secretive so it doesn't surprise me there's a whole lot of crazy going on there you can't just you know i don't know you can't be continuously lying which all almost all CIA agents have to do all the time occasionally killing you know some of them have to do that you can't do all those things without having some kind of impact on your on your psyche on your mental all health all you have to do is look at our military veterans returning home from war and all the PTSD and all the hell that they're that they're living with and uh, bringing home with them. And that's all. I mean, it, war is hell, and and so is the government. Boy, is that <laughs> the truth. Absolutely, absolutely. So um, also some interesting uh, content there, minimum wage and magical thinking. You know, this whole concept of, of weight, raising the minimum wage uh, being done in a vacuum. You know, we're, we're going to be able to improve the quality of life with others without any consequences. Well, that's the case. Why not raise uh, minimum wage to $30, 40 $50 an hour? That's a right. real wage, you know, that people can live on. That's right. I mean, if if you think that there aren't going to be any unintended consequences from raising the minimum wage, then you're fooling yourself. And uh, And I think in Seattle, it's a prime example because they did raise the minimum wage. And you'll see restaurants have uh, really struggled there. There have been a lot of closures. There's been a lot of turnover, and there's been a lot of um, you know, kind of wringing of hands. How are they going to make it work? And but no uh, gnashing of teeth. Well, I'm sure there's been gnashing of teeth on the part of the business owners. But what you're going to find is, you know, keep keep this in mind, folks. Um, it's really easy to replace a cashier with a machine, a terminal. And places like McDonald's are doing that all over the world now. So you just get used to that. Get used to, uh, hey, you want to move you know, forward with technology? This is a great way to do it. Yeah, they're giving it, they do give them every incentive to do it. You know, and the reality is, is that the bottom line is if people want to improve their economic lot, they need to improve themselves. Right. That's always been the case That's since right. the so beginning of mankind. Don't stay at a job that pays 10 bucks an hour. Uh, work your way up and, and get a skill and get to a job that pays 40 bucks an hour. But do it the right way. Don't just expect that your employer should pay you $40 for a $10 an hour job. Or find a rich person and convince them that you're worth marrying. Sugar One of the daddy. two. Sugar yeah. daddy all the way. Absolutely. Or sugar mama. Or sugar mama. You know, those, coo- those cougars, right? And I'm not talking about you, University of Houston. That's right. Although there may be some there. Maybe. Absolutely. So, uh, But there's a lot of cool articles over there at usadareview.com what we call USDR Newsstand. Check it out. and uh, I'm going to check it out. Yeah, I are, haven't checked it out. There are some of our favorite stuff from all over the place. The mystery of two suicides in Missouri, Missouri politics, two leaders in the right. Republican Party that committed suicide. A little bit behind that story. The potential upside to a technology bubble, because it, it may be about the bust. Hmm. A lot more. USDR Newsstand. Check out usdailyreview.com. All right. With that, I'm going to call this segment over, but we got more for you right after this. Do you want to remind you? This content here shows up over there at usdailyreview.com. While there, like it on Facebook. Follow it on Twitter.